What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Marcus 2K from Stock Alert, bringing you guys some more auction house tips. But today we're not talking about 2K15. We're talking about the sweet old 2K right around the corner, man. About to bring you guys some of the most hot fire tips for 2K16s. When you first put that disc in, I'm gonna tell you what you need to do in the auction house to become very successful. Let's get into that first tip. So first of all, do not sell your players when this game first comes out. Unless there's an MT glitch going around where a lot of MT is spread out and you got these very rare players that you want to sell, then yeah, go ahead and sell them. But what you want to do is sit on those cards you pack. Sit on those cards you buy. Don't quick sell them. Don't put them on the auction because in NBA 2K16, collection rewards are returning. As you can see on the screen, I only got 750 cards, which actually gave me 75,000 MT, which was very helpful when I wanted to get those rare Onyx players down the road. So make sure you don't sell these players. Hold on to your players. Uh, all right, fam, let's talk about these challenges real quick. So we know now that these challenges don't mean anything in NBA 2K15 because these legends and these Onyx players cost so much. But if you want some quick MT when this game first comes out, when NBA 2K16 first comes out, go through these challenges, play every single one of them. I mean, because we all know that there's going to be a time where we're not doing anything in my team. We're just messing around in the auction, just searching for random guys. Play a game or two of this. And also, play all of Domination. But wait, there's more. So not only is there a regular domination in NBA 2K16, there will also be an historic domination. So you might be able to get some players and some more MT out of just playing those games. So let's talk about search settings. Now, when you want to snipe nice players when this game first comes out, because guess what? Everyone knows about sniping. It's nothing new. It's been happening in Madden Ultimate Team, FIFA Ultimate Team. It's something that you might want to learn yourself. So when this game first comes out, use these search settings and you might be able to find yourself some nice snipes, some decent gold players that will go for a lot more in the future. And just keep using these settings and I promise you, you guys will get some more snipes. You can flip these cards and make more MT for yourself. And one final thing, you can open packs but do not go overboard when the game first comes out because you know the packs are going to be rare. It's going to be so hard to find really good players through these packs. That's what 2K wants you to do. Open packs to get good gold players so you can sell and get MT. No, snipe players, flip those players, and make yourself some incredible MT. But in all seriousness, I hope you guys took these notes, put them down in the notebook, stashed them away until September 25th for pre-order users. You guys get the game on that date, and I hope to see you guys in my team. Can't wait to start making these my team videos for 2K16. It's gonna be a sweet year. This game will be sick. But if you guys are new to the channel, you want to hit that like button and also make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be like destroying 2K16 hopefully. But stay tuned to your one-stop, non-stop auction house tips from your boy Marks 2 k And we out of here. Previously in the last wager. I'm wagering 100k. If I lose this wager, I have to quick sell. Not quick sell. Let me chill. I have to sell Kobe Bryant on the auction house. What young Marcus will come across next would be the most despicable display of basketball he has ever seen.